Hey there, Winter League members. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video, show you guys some of the behind the scene numbers, uh, how we got the divisions, how we set it all up. Uh, so as you can see here, I've got my Excel sheet. Uh, we've got all the week one stuff, you know, your week one to par score, your position that you came in overall out of the all 37 teams, um, you know, your total score, how many points you got, which is just like whose line is it anyways, the points don't really matter, uh, but it is fun to at least see and practice what we would get. Um, so you can see it's right now it's uh, sorted by week three position. We have the retired golf guys in position one, um, all the way down to 37. Uh, you can also see the two par uh, score here. Uh, we all know Augusta or uh, St. Andrews, sorry, not Augusta, St. Andrews has uh, par 37 on the front that we played, only had the one par three. Uh, so that's why we have the 31 there. Uh, but as you can see over here uh, in this column, um, you had your overall position. And if we sort uh, smallest to largest is kind of like where you fell out one through 37 over the first you know uh, three weeks of seeding there uh, then we had the average two par score uh, and you can see if we sort it not a lot of changes some numbers in between some of the teams kind of flip flop but for the most part every uh, flight stayed the same the only teams that really changed out of a flight when we went from position to average score to par was uh, cow rye and cookies and cream um, so you can see if we switch it back to overall position um, you know cow rye uh, goes down to the second flight and cookies and cream moves up uh, but we figured it was probably uh, more fair to have that average to par score be kind of what we base the flights off of a uh, few outliers right uh, retired golf we saw they won first place this past week um, with a six under um, so you know maybe they should move up but we've seen their body of work you know they might fit more in this flight down here uh, a few other things that uh you know we just want to like call out like the hacks uh, Kyle Wood had an uh, unfortunate injury, a wrist injury, so he won't be playing the rest of the league. So he had a replacement. Uh, replacement shoots a lot better golf. No offense, Kyle. So uh, we might end up moving them up a flight and have, you know, one of these teams go out. Uh, we haven't seen going so low yet for uh, week four. So we might just uh, be replacing their team up and then go back to the 36 teams instead of the 37. Uh, but that will be all in the next video. I just wanted to give you guys a kind of overview of how we got the numbers. I think it worked out pretty well. You can kind of see all the scores are kind of, you know, pretty much the same. Like all these guys are going at least one under their average scores are par. Uh, you know, these guys are all kind of have the potential to go there. You know, their average is at least just one over and you can kind of see where it breaks out. You know, it gets a little close in some of these other ones, but um you know, we think it's good competition uh, all the way through. Uh, just a reminder, these bottom two flights here will be scrambled the rest of the way. Please make sure you are picking the right division from the rest of the way out. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying the league. We will see you soon. Apologize for the long video, but I wanted to get out the divisional uh, standings there for you.